Well, I'm Joyce Jasper. Okay. And I'm Margaret Watson. Wonderful. Nice to meet you. Now, um, you were saying that, that, that you have some memories and, and stories to share about the First World War. Um, uh, what, what would you like to say? Not, not an awful lot not because... It's just didn't... really what mum's and dad's are told her, uh -huh. wasn't it? Because when they came back from the war, nobody talked about it, you know, they just wanted to forget about it. Mm. But it was much later that I remember my dad, uh, when he was in his late 60s, going to uh, France to visit the war graves, and he went to uh, Ypres, and that was the first time I knew where he had been, you know. Yeah, right, right. and my uncles, they were both in the war, mm. and uh, one went to France in the trenches. The other one was a bit luckier, but he still come back with a plate in his head, and the other, made the one from France, lost both legs. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, so did you say it, like a like a metal plate? Or yes. Something? Right. Okay. Do you know where? Or? He said the back. We said. <coughs> right. Blimey. My father-in-law had a big hole in his back where there'd been a dum dum bullet. Yeah. And they went inside the body and exploded inside, mm. and that left like a big space in his back. Wow. So, I mean, you, you said that, that they didn't really want to talk about their experiences, but do you get any sense of what, what the effect of, of the Great War was? Oh, yes. I no. think anybody who's been to war comes back with problems, you know. No, they do. Uh, then it never goes away. No. Uh, it sleeps badly and things like that, you know. Is there anything that, 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 that you'd like that you, you know, that you'd like people to, to know um, if, if they're watching this in the future? Just not to go to war. <laughs> it doesn't work. It, yeah. does settle, it doesn't settle a thing. No, it no. doesn't. Oh, uh, yes, see, I mean, we can, as I say, we've given our, our view on the, on the World War One. But what we learn, I mean, I'm a lot younger than Joyce, mm. so Joyce would know a bit more about it than me. Mm. But uh, as I say, I've got uncle, I've had uncles in there, and then my dad was in it, but he was lucky because he was a Batman, so he was lucky. But um, and just um, just for those who don't know, what what, what is a Batman? He looks after the colonel. Right. Okay. So he's, he's a servant to the servant officers. Servant to the officers. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, the one officer he was the colonel. Yes. But, he. Uh, he does his shoes, he brushes his meals, he, he does everything. All but wipes his backside. So he was lucky, really, <laughs> as he says. But he still was in the war, he still went with him mm. in the war. But they were, I mean, he was always with the colonel. He wasn't at the front. He wasn't at the front. Mm. So he was lucky. Um, did, you, did you get any sense that um, that, that experience, uh, I suppose, that it, that it might have frustrated him at all, that, that he wasn't actually necessarily yes, fighting. Yes, it did. Mm. Yes, it did. He preferred one. He wanted to go fighting, but uh, he was put in that one, that place, so he had to do with, he was told, I mean, in them days I had to do with what I told. But um, me, um, me other uncles, when uh, he spoke to me, if, when my dad, what my dad told me, when my Uncle George spoke to him, he says, you are really lucky, he says, I would have changed your places any day, so, <laughs> so he, he turned them off it, really, he says, I'm glad I wasn't there in the end, yeah. but, uh, oh yes, it, it was terrible, I think, it must have been terrible. I mean, the photographs I have of my father and me, my father-in-law, they, they looked about, I think my father was about yes, 17, yes, they and, look older. Um, father-in-law not much older before when they went to war. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They look older as well, I think. Mm. My dad doesn't. He looks... He well, looks my, like dad, a my dad was only little, so... He was only small, so... Mm. Mm. Yeah, but... Uh, well, what, what I always find really interesting, looking at old, old photographs, and obviously I'm talking also about photographs which are much older than, than you guys as well, so I'm not assuming that you're alive in the Victorian era, but, <laughs> but, but when you look at those, it's amazing how... People can, they kind of learn. Oh, that's a camera. I must smile. Yes. Whereas where they didn't in those no, days. Exactly. No, exactly. No, no. And especially, especially if you yeah. if you were a bit poorer, you just had this. Um, and it's the same kind of thing that you saw when the Berlin Wall came down. People on the eastern side of the wall, they had they didn't have the Kodak no, face. Yeah. There was none of that. Um, it was it was a very no. They wall. hadn't a smile at all, had they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, so uh, I had a grandfather and a great grandfather both take together. I've got the photographs. And not one of them are smiling. No. Mm. Very, very severe people. 
I don't think I would fancy <laughs> to did, meet a poet, to tell you I the truth. I remember my grandmother had a photograph of her, her mother, and believe me, she looked fit to haunt a house. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't gosh, is she terrifying? One of those things where the eyes follow you around. Oh, kind of yes. thing and <laughs> she would, she had this, all this hair and that, and I think, oh my goodness, she looks awful. I wouldn't care when I got married and went to my uh, husband's auntie's. In the same place as you walked in the door was this, her mother, and she looked exactly like my great grandmother. <laughs> Blimey. Wow, okay. Um, so, in that sense, then, do you think, um, looking at, for example, how you know you have these stern faces in photos and photos, yes. um, do you think that, 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 that there's something which 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 we can look, we can and should learn today, not necessarily just about war, but by from how people used to live compared to how people live now? Oh yes. I mean, well, for example, one thing that comes to mind for me is that even in my, in my I'm, I'm 29, but in my lifetime, I've noticed that. Everyone wants more, you know, yes. they, they want the latest yes, iPhone. Yes, they do. Um, but I mean, is there anything that, that comes to mind for you in terms of...? Well, I just think today there's just too much for people. Mm. You know, you don't have to uh, think about anything. Well, I you mean, just have to turn on a computer or go to a shop and it's there for them. But then days they had to put up with that, Joyce, you see. Nowadays yes. it's just the opposite. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have liked their lives. <laughs> I, I think I would prefer to live in my town now. Yes. In, in now. Best time out. <laughs> because so, 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 we, so, 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 we so. could go out in the streets and play. We could let my children go to the, or no, we nothing, could go to the park happened. and beach on our own. Mm, but but today you no. can't. No. So, so you don't count necessarily now as your time then. No. 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 <laughs> We were in I the think we had we had the best we had the best years. I think. Oh, Even yes, though we definitely. went through a depression. Oh, when yes. I was little, I think we and we had, a had war. the best uh, We had the trouble in Spain, the trouble in Ireland, and all of that going on. I know we went through the Second World War, but mm -hmm. I mean it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as the First World War, I don't think. Well, I was a teenager, and I, to me, it just it was you just would happening. You the Americans then. It was just happening. <laughs> I remember once uh, I wouldn't go in the shelters. I used to make cocoa and put it in the uh, Anderson shelter. And this night I walked out and um, got this cocoa tree and stuff. And I looked up and there's like a parachute coming down. <coughs> and on the end of it was a box. And I just shouted mine and my dad put his hand out, grabbed us and says, keep the bugger. <laughs> Dragged us in the in the shelter. It wasn't that one I was thinking about because he used to drop them in a string. Mm -hmm. And that one that I saw went to Timeout uh, Golf Course. But this, the other ones uh, behind it went to the Rex Cinema. And I was thinking, well, there's a string of them and they just come down and hit me. So. There's only one thing I liked about that time. I think they were strict with that children and I think that's that was the main thing, mm -hmm. that they needed strictness. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how when they went to war, I think they really had to stand their own two feet then and they were told how to go and how not to go on. It wasn't like our time. Mm. But, uh, so do you think, um, for example, uh, pa many parents today, one of their their goals, especially if you look at TV adverts and things, it's to be your child's friend. You know, so, so you know, you and your cat and your child can go and go mountain biking together. Yes. And basically, be children together. Yes. Uh, is that not no. something that you agree with? No, it was can, that they can do it now, but they didn't used to do it in our time. There was a separate, you know, it was time for the children and the parents were a separate thing, you know. Mm. Yes. And and, and so, and so do you think you think that, that that's a better thing? Uh, well, I think it's a better well, thing that the children that the children are more into the family in that, you know. Of course, well, in our time, the, there wasn't the money or anything. You didn't have all the... Uh, but we did have loads of dance halls and picture halls. Yeah, during the war. Right. Uh, the we war were, was on, but we really had... Mm -hmm. They really had good times. They had things to keep you occupied, you know. Clubs and that, mm -hmm. the, the dance clubs that went all over. I mean, I was about four or five in North oh, Shields, wasn't there? was more that? than that. There was a load in yes. North Shields. There was the Albion Grill, there was the parish yeah. hall. There was St Joseph's. There was the um, the the one at Percy May. Saint Augustine's heart. Uh -huh. was, was a nice. It was really. I mean, it was different from World War One, 
I mean, they were just sitting there. I mean, they had no televisions or nothing. Had they? they had nothing, really. Neither did we in World War II. Oh, but still, <laughs> World War I. Ah, uh, but World War One. I mean, they had yes, nothing. They no. had. They had no dance. I mean, and they used to really sit in the house, didn't they, most of the time? Yeah. Well, also no radio, because one thing which yes. um, which uh, came to mind actually recently. I, I often make short films with yes. schools, uh -huh. and they were writing a script, and they said, you know, family is sat in living room, and they hear on the radio we're at war. Now that's that's a Second World War thing. That's yes. not a First World War thing. No. And it's amazing how. It's kind of you have to really check <laughs> what they did and didn't have because actually, yes. uh, you know, they had planes and tanks, but they didn't have wireless at home. No. I think they we developed. We didn't have it. we didn't have as many stations as you had. We had a uh, radio lines in Radio Luxembourg, and uh, used to get, uh, but you didn't have sort of the BBC and all of that. The BBC and that came later, as it was, because we used to listen to Luxembourg a lot. But uh, you got. Uh, any speeches, uh, we were, uh, it was a Sunday morning when they declared war and I remember the man over the road to us, he was dashing up and down saying, got to get in your shoulder, got to get in your shoulder, it's going to bomb you and I looked around and I said, my mum, is it all right? <laughs> it was, no, it I was think it was better when they were strict than what mm -hmm. they are nowadays. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, in the olden times, they were really strict. What my mum used to tell me. Well, you weren't so. allowed. You weren't allowed to uh, to do anything on no. a Sunday. Mm, no. But uh, church, read was, and go to church, to church, read and do sauna, whatever. Mm -hmm. In the First World War. Mm -hmm. What do you remember in terms of playing? Like as children, what did you? What games did you play? Hopscotch. Um, Hopscotch, multi-kitty, multi-kitty. Multi multi so what's that? Sorry. Hoopla. No, no, the other one. Multi kitty. Multi -kitty. Yeah, what's that? It's where it's the one where used to bend. He's got the photograph along there. Oh. It's the, the it, one one man used to one lad used to stand up and they used to, there used to be another lad used to lay down the like one. that and he used to jump on the back and then there used to be another one lay down and he used to jump on their back and you and had to jump. You had to jump further and, further and further and further towards the front. Wow. Well, okay. uh, oh yes, we've had yeah. some we had some good games. We Anything had. Else? Um, <coughs> We had skipping. Skipping. Uh, we had. Um, we had. Uh, oh, what did they call it? Uh, ball games bees, around us. Bees, marbles. Marbles and. So what was the other? So bees. Had, what's that? That's where the where the pavements are blocked. You know, you used to put one and two, and then three in the middle, and four and five, and you used to have to stop, like throw a stone, and you had to get into that square, and you had to jump, hop along. And hop back again. <coughs> is that kind of like hopscotch? Then? Yes. No. It's, it's no. not exactly the same. The it's a bit on the same thing where you you yeah. jump over the the numbers and that. Uh -huh. But okay. um, oh, we had some good games, hadn't we? Mm -hmm. I mean, really. And during the war, we had even a dance, an open air dance. We used to come to Smith's Park. Okay. Now, now you mentioned something about about um, these new young men coming along, like Americans. <coughs> I mean, what? Well, what was that like having the having in the second world yeah war. strange people in the second world war well actually the 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 uniforms and that were so different i mean our boys uniforms were rough where they, stuff they, where theirs was like was dress more. like marvelous material and they were all so smart and had plenty of money and everything you i mean know. i was only about seven or eight but joyce was older there wasn't many there wasn't many around uh, this, but more towards Whitley Bay and that, you know. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, I think I met a couple of Americans. Oh, uh, Gina was I the best one. I used to be now Russian class. soldiers, our Russian sailors. Our, our class, our school, I get right in the our child at home. <coughs> hey, she used to tell us some good jokes about it, didn't she? About the Americans. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, she was a she, she was a flamer. <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, yes, get, get, I, I never got a pair of nail ones, I'll tell you. She did. Oh, yeah. she did. But uh, also, uh, we had a bakery and we used to ride along by the uh, the river, uh, you know, a bit further up, but uh, to get to the docks and that, they had a pass. And we had these Russian sailors used to come in and they were very young. Surprisingly enough, they could speak a, quite a good, a yeah. good bit, of, you could converse with them, you know. Mm. They were from Kiev. Okay. I was just a little girl then. <laughs> Innocent little girl. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Um, was is there any, anything else that, 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 you, that you'd like to mention? Not that I can think of. No. I mean, uh, all the stories that I've told was out of a book. What my brother had. The fears got it now. It, uh, it was my son had rather. It was um, to do with what the soldiers felt like when they come out of the World War One, and they were really good. They had some good stories. I mean, one one was having a uh, they were having a meal of a major a German major's made to me because I had no you, they couldn't shift him. You see, he was dead, so they just had the meal of his tummy. <laughs> And they used to just drop in the mud when they were there and they couldn't shift them because the mud used to suck them under. But there were some good ones, really mm. good ones stories in it. But I told Theo all about them, but I can't remember them all now. Okay. But uh, it's, it was really interesting because we've learned a lot as well, haven't mm. we, Joyce? Yes. We have, we learned a lot. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, there you go. Thank you very much.